Melbourne's five million citizens will be able to leave their homes from midnight tonight and all cafes, restaurants, bars, shops and hotels will be allowed to reopen. Australia's second largest city has been under strict COVID restrictions for the past 15 weeks. But after the state recorded its first 24-hour period without any new coronavirus infections since June 9, authorities say it's time for the city to open up. Paul Waterson is the CEO of Aussie Venue Co, which has 32 venues news in Melbourne and he joins me now. Paul, are you excited, relieved? Oh, g'day Lisa. Yeah, it's a mix of all all of the above. We're certainly excited and really looking forward to taking the first one off the wood uh, tonight at midnight. So how, how have you managed to survive through all of this? It's almost four months. Yeah, it's been pretty horrific being able to go outside for one hour a day and then two hours a day. I know you guys had a very hard lockdown in Auckland, but ours just seemed to have gone on forever and ever. We're lucky. We've got pubs in other states of Australia and also New Zealand, which have kept us afloat. Uh, But those guys who've just got pubs in Victoria have really been struggling. So how many staff have you got and have you been able to keep them on because you have other venues outside of of the state? Yeah, so we've got 4,200 staff across the company. Uh, we've got 1,200 staff in Victoria who are getting back to work for the first time since March tomorrow. We haven't been able to... We've been fortunate that we've had a wage subsidy program uh, called JobKeeper here, which has given the staff $750 a week to all Australian and um, and Kiwis over here. We haven't been able to get the Victorians up to the other states because everyone shut down their borders to us pretty quickly, so no one could really leave, which is why everyone's super keen to get back to work. And is it, well, business as usual, or what restrictions are still on you at mid from midnight tonight? Yeah, Lisa, it's still really, really restricted. So we're only allowed to have 20 people indoors and 50 people outdoors. Um, we've got a, we're all wearing masks down here, so people will be wearing masks into the venues. Um, we've got pretty comprehensive contract, contact tracing as well as a normal sanitisation procedure. So it's not like going to a normal pub, doesn't have the atmosphere that you'd normally expect, but hopefully we get there over time. So 20 people inside. I mean, what kind of size venues do you have? I mean, how many people would you normally be able to have? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty horrific. Like, a lot of our venues in Melbourne CBD can fit eight, 900 people. So it, it just feels ridiculous. You're walking in there and there's a couple of people scattered here and a couple of people scattered there. But we've got to start somewhere. I think it's just about building confidence in the government that you know, we can open safely. So... We'll, we'll probably lose more money opening the venues with that capacity we will with some clothes, but we've got to have a crack and get started. Yeah, do you think people are going to be game for a night out or will they be nervous? Yeah, it's, it's actually a really interesting question. I think when we first, after the first lockdown in the other state, capacity returned really, really quickly. I think in Victoria, it's, you know, after six months, it, you do feel a bit different. But as soon as the Premier announced um, the easing of restrictions yesterday, a number of pubs booked out within 15 minutes, albeit it's not too hard to book out 20 people. But I, I do think there's going to be some nervousness. It's going to take people over time to get out there in the real world again. So, big event next week, Melbourne Cup, right, the horse race. So, yeah. I don't think, they're, they're not allowed people at the venue, are they? So, are you going to get some no. spin-off from that? Well, yeah, we will. All 20 we'll of them? Get, tw- all 20 of them, yeah. We'll get some TVs outside. The Melbourne City Council have been great. We're trying to set up the city like New York has done with more outdoor dining. We're going to take over the streets, get some TVs out there. It's going to be a bit of a carnival atmosphere, but certainly nothing like previous years when you'd be down on the on the track having a real go. And are you doing anything special? Will you be open at pre- precisely 11.59pm this evening? Yeah, that's exactly right. We've got a couple of pubs opening at 11.59. Uh, people are just desperate to get back in and, and just have their first beer, and then the rest of them will open tomorrow. So from your point of view, what has been the hardest thing in all of this? Uh, it's just been quarantine to your home for such a long period is horrific. Having to go through homeschooling with the kids at home, you're trying to run a business has just been 
awful. And and then my main worry is just our poor staff. Having gone without work, albeit with government subsidies for six months, just incredibly hard. We had a lot of visa workers who had no income support at all from the government. So we've been paying them, even though we've had no income ourselves. It's just been really harrowing. So, Paul, I sense if you've got a new respect for teachers. Would that be fair? Oh, Lisa, gee, I'd like to give them all a massive pay rise, I tell you. <laughs> not, I don't know, schooling a seven-year-old, there's not much worse than that, I tell you. So are you in, in the least bit nervous about this? Because obviously you've had to mm. keep going in lockdown because some people would argue you didn't go uh, hard and early enough. So do you have any nerves about reopening? No, we don't, because the bulk of the transmission in Victoria happened because we ran a terrible quarantine program, and then it got out into families. There was never widespread transmission in venues like ours, and we've been able to open the other six states and New Zealand very successfully, so we know how we, we do it. I think one of the positives is they're very limited ability to have visitors around to your house. I think you can only have two people once a day around to your house. So hopefully more people get out and catch up with the family again and have a feed. Good luck tonight. That is Paul Waterson, who's the CEO of Aussie Venue Co. And as he was saying there, he's got about 1,200 workers in Victoria who are going to be back on the job. Businesses are allowed to open from 11.59pm tonight and some of his pubs will open right there and then.